it's like something out of science fiction. Unsettling transformations are sweeping across the planet. And clue by clue, investigators are assembling a new picture of Earth. They suspect we've entered a time of faster global change than any human being has ever witnessed. But we can rise to the challenge, alter the course. It's up to all of us to confront these strange days on planet Earth. By making smart choices every day, we can help protect our water. But there's another assault on water that's harder to control. Increasing amounts of heat trapping gases in the atmosphere are not just warming the seas, they're changing its chemistry. There's a change in the air, and investigators are just starting to piece together what that means for the creatures that live in the water. Down on Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, while some work to save offshore reefs from polluted underground rivers, Roberto Iglesias Prieto focuses on the threat from above. A warming planet means seawater is heating up too, and this poses a real threat to the reefs he's come to know well and love. I knew about coral reefs from an academic point of view, and then I saw the real thing and definitely changed my, my life. I've been studying coral reefs for more than 20 years. For the last 30 years, ecologists noticed that increases in temperature, very small increases in temperature, produce major changes in coral reefs. The most dramatic one is the loss of pigmentation by the corals. This is a phenomenon known as coral bleaching. Coral reefs all over the world are in retreat. Some are disappearing faster than rainforests are leaving behind only bleached skeletons. Iglesias Prieto closely tracks evidence of bleaching on the regular house calls he makes to his local reef. Corals can recover from a little bleaching, but beyond a certain point, the process snowballs and their chances of survival plummet. But bleaching isn't the only threat to corals that's posed by the rise of heat-trapping gases in the atmosphere. Nearly half of the carbon dioxide added to the atmosphere in the past 200 years has ended up in the ocean. Here, it triggers chemical reactions that we don't notice, but other creatures do. The carbon dioxide is changing the chemistry of seawater, making it more acidic. Oceanographers call the problem ocean acidification. For countless sea creatures, from microscopic plankton to coral polyps, and perhaps even lobsters and crabs. Building and maintaining a shell or skeleton is getting harder all the time. This is a coccolithophore, a single-celled marine algae that surrounds itself with calcite scales. And this is a coccolithophore on acid, or at least in more acidic seawater consumed by many zooplankton and even some small fish, coccolithophores are one of many increasingly vulnerable species at the foundation of the marine food web. If they're harmed by more acidic seawater, that ripple may be felt all over the globe. While the connections between the choices we make in our daily lives and the health of estuaries, coral reefs, perhaps even ourselves, may not be obvious, they're there to find if you're willing to look a little closer. The good news is, every day more people do, and we learn a little more about how the global water system works. And that knowledge is power, which more and more of us are using every day to reduce our impact on the planet. Will enough of us join in? That's the real question, isn't it?